So as you can hear, got the chopper running. Gonna go through, do a maintenance on that. Fix all the stuff up. Uh, but I got issues going on. Got a broken shaft. Got stuff to grease. Seal to fix. So let's get after that. helps if uh, you take the bungee cord off before uh, you try to back up as you saw there. Should be good now. So like I had said, we got a shaft to fix here. This is actually broke off. Um, Rewelded it, got through the last 40 acres. Um, I got a new one along with new bearings for it. So we'll go ahead, slip this out, get that all done up. And after that, this seal right here is leaking. Um, we'll, we got a new one for that. Actually wrap some grass up around that. Uh, last cutting or two cuttings ago, so still got oil in it, but we'll put a new seal in Well now you can see it so sheared right off here where it shrinks down and uh, Pretty surprised the weld held for as many acres as it did I'm Gonna have to cut that off slide it out of the slip clutch here and then uh, Get it completely out Got everything apart, got the new bearings in, new shaft versus the old. Now we just gotta reassemble everything. Gotta line this hole back up on the pivot point there. So, got my OSHA safe uh, jack and jack stand to hold it up. Future note for self, don't take that bearing housing out, um, cause the whole head, the upper roller and everything else pivots on it, which when you take that out there, I think you can see it, it drops everything out and it's really hard to get back in by yourself. It took me probably longer than I want to ever admit. But it's in. Got everything all buttoned back up, get the chains tight, you know, pressure wash it and oil them. This is all good. Adjusted the slip clutch here. So, on to the next thing. Got the plate off the front here. They don't actually make the shroud any longer that goes around here. Maybe I'll figure out something. But this is pretty well packed in there. Yep, 
I did wrap it up some, but I'd say this has been wrapped up for a while and there's been no oil in it, so. I added oil and it just had a slow leak out of it for a while. So we'll go ahead and put a new seal in here. And call it good. Head should be all, all set. Other than uh, maybe adjusting the wheels a little bit. Um, I think that side's up a little bit higher than this side and I'm missing a bolt on this side, but alrighty, let's get to it. just let it drain out there um, but it is packed full of garbage you can see on it, it all sorts of stuff inside of it and the fluid looks like garbage so we'll let it drain out flush it out put the new one in be good as you can see the oil is a disgusting color so we'll get it really nice and flushed out but pull the drain plug off and it had this in there, which really made me pretty nervous for a little bit. i um, thinking it was a piece for a bearing, but it is magnetic. So, not exactly sure if it fits inside there and it's come out. I'd have to look at the other one, which is sitting right here. The other one's a different design. Or if somebody dropped something magnetic in there at some point. Because I cannot see why it would be in there. So, we'll flush it out. Keep going. It's not big enough to actually be one of the bearing pieces. So, we'll see with time. If you know what it is, drop a comment. Let me know. That's much better. Nice and tight in there. That should be good for a while. I'll just pump a little bit in, call it good. Well, that will do it for today. Pretty warm out. Still have chores to do. Um, finish the head up. Just gotta wash it, grease it, and then it will be on to the next thing. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time.